Hi, I'm Reek Havoc for MV Pro Audio. Let's take an in-depth look at the new Waldorf NW1 Wavetable Module. Waldorf is synonymous with wavetable synthesis, first made popular by the now legendary PPG synthesizer of the early 1970s. An oscillator is the heart of any synthesizer, and a Eurorack synth is no exception. Waldorf's amazing NW1 Wavetable Oscillator Module is probably one of the most flexible and interesting sounding oscillators on the market today. This unique approach to synthesis offers sounds previously unattainable from standard analog oscillators, as you will hear later in the video. Modeled after Waldorf's Nave plugin, the NW1 is a fully functional Wavetable Oscillator Module with lots of functions. Wavetable scanning can be set and modulated, as well as travel speed, position, spectrum, and noise. Included with the NW1 are 80 of the legendary Waldorf wavetables. Each wavetable can contain up to eight sections, which are variations of the same single-cycled waveforms. Playing a note on the KB37 allows the NW1 wavetable oscillator to scan through multiple waveforms. This creates a moving and much more interesting sound than can be found on a typical analog oscillator but this incredibly large palette is just the beginning. The NW1 also has an integrated speech synthesizer and a wave recorder for user waves. More on the user waves later in the video. After choosing a wavetable, the real fun begins. Without any additional processing, you'll discover an amazingly diverse set of tones available by simply changing the settings on the travel and wavetable position controls. Travel speed controls the wavetable playback speed. And unlike a typical oscillator that simply generates a waveform, the NW1 offers multiple levels of controls pulled directly from Waldorf's acclaimed Nave plugin. Spectrum and Brilliance offer extreme sound manipulation. Spectrum actually transposes the spectral content of the sound, while Brilliance sets the amount of detail in that content, controlling the spread and definition of harmonic peaks. Let's hear this in action. Noisy adds a noisy sound characteristic to the audio chain, giving way to a much harsher and grainy sounding aspect of the sound. As previously mentioned, recording a user wavetable is very easy. You can simply plug an audio signal directly into the NW1 module or transfer a sample with the free NW1 wavetable editor application. Let's give this a try. I'm taking an output from another synthesizer and plugging it directly into the mod input 1 jack, which doubles as an audio input. The travel and position controls on the NW1 work as quality and compression levels in recording mode for your user wavetable. Here, I can adjust my audio input levels so the top part of the number 8 in the display just tickles the top. Recording can start with a gate input or automatically with the audio in. I simply flick the switch to travel and then play my other synth and the recording starts. Now, switching back to the user wavetables, you'll see I have a new sound on user 5. Okay, here's where it gets really good. In addition to the included legendary Waldorf wavetables, you can load your own custom user wavetables as well. Each user wavetable can have up to 256 waves, with each wave being fixed at 512 samples. And you have the capability of loading up to 10 of these unique wavetables into the NW1. 
Now, while creating an elusive wavetable may sound like a time-consuming and daunting task, Waldorf has simplified this and makes it easy to open up the world of possibilities with a free software utility for Mac or PC. Using the free NW1 Wavetable Editor software, I can easily transfer samples directly from my computer to the NW1. This free tool also lets you type in a phrase and transfer that to the NW1. Let's try it. I'll type in the word celebrate. Render the sample and hit send. Now I can play that phrase on the NW1. <laughs> Okay, let's have some fun. I'm going to choose just one of the 80 wavetables and show you how many different variations you can get from just a single wavetable. Now, this is before I add any post processing like filters, etc. For this example, I'm using the Mod 1 and DVCA1 modules for my volume envelope so it behaves like a normal synthesizer. But outside of volume contouring, everything you hear is coming from the NW1 module. Let's take a listen. Here's an example of the variety of waves within a single wavetable. As you can see, we're constantly morphing between one wave and another, and creating these wild waveforms on screen. Here's another one. This visually demonstrates the awesome power of a wavetable synthesizer module. First, Let's select a wavetable. Try 39. Play with the travel. You can hear that morphing through the different wavetables. Try position. Spectrum does. Turn the brilliance down. Travel all the way down. We've got an oscillating feature. Playing noisy in a bit. And be sure to check out all our other videos of all the other great Waldorf modular products. I'm Reek Havoc for MV Pro Audio.